So EIGRP maintains three different tables. The first is the neighbor table. If we don't have a neighbor in this neighbor table to begin with, then we're pretty much done. There's no reason to look anywhere else. No neighbor means no routes from the neighbor. That should be pretty obvious. So that's what we see here. We see a neighbor table with the show IP EIGRP neighbor command. We see a topology table with the show IP EIGRP topology. We'll get to that in just a moment. And we see a routing table with show IP route EIGRP. So looking at that first table, the address that we see here is the neighbor's address. And we see the interface where that neighbor is seen or where we've neighbored up with that router. Uh, looking down at the show IP EIGRP topology table, what we see is this code. The code identifier is the letter P. P means passive, and passive is a good thing. It means that we're converged. We're not sending any routing information right now. We're not doing any queries. We're not active or anything like that. So that's a good state to be in. And so this is passive for that prefix 10.0.1.0. Now you'll notice here it says one successor. Remember in that terminology that I discussed earlier, a successor is the best path. And we see the feasible distance to that successor is 28,160. That's my composite metric. Now if you look underneath, you can see for this other route here, 172.16.10, you can see he's got one successor. You see the feasible distance is 15, 6, 160, or 156, 160. So we see that on the left-hand side of this output here. On the right-hand side, we see 128, 256. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between these two? Well, here's how it works with EIGRP. It's kind of like me telling you that the grocery store is one mile away. Well, the grocery store is one mile away from me, but you happen to be two miles away from me, and I'm smack in between you and the grocery store. So that means for you, you've got to go two miles to pass my house, and then another mile to get to the grocery store. So I advertised a distance of one mile, but the feasible distance for you is three miles. And that's exactly what happens with EIGRP. The 156, 160 is the feasible distance. That's the total metric that we have to cross to get to that destination. But the advertised metric from the neighbor was 128, 256. And then finally, we have the routing table. And in that routing table, you see the D. Now, if we looked at the codes for that routing table, a D is the EIGRP code, and they use the letter D because of the dual algorithm. We see here the administrative distance for EIGRP, which is 90. And then we see 156, 160. That was the feasible distance from our topology table. So that 156, 160 seen there in the routing table is the metric.